Hey guys. Okay, let me fix this a little bit. Let's see who's on. There you go. I think that's good. I um getting ready today because I have been spending too many days in my pajamas and not getting dressed and not getting ready and living my life looking like this because I am sick. Well, I was sick. I'm just getting over my sick son Papa Hall's in my mouth. But, let's see here. I want to show you guys real quick. Check this sign out. See that? Just made that for my bathroom. Um... If you're looking to purchase one, go to MrsMommyMartin.com and you can find it there. Um, Alright, so here's the deal. Um, I'm kind of doing this weird because mirror's here and you guys are there. And if I look here, you can see me in the mirror, right? So as I'm doing my stuff, you'll see what I'm doing. Let's bring you a little closer though. There we go. See me better? See that? It'll be good. All right, so first things first is, um, I didn't do my hair today just because it's, it's just, it is what it is. You guys can see I'm growing out all my gray hairs and um, I'm just letting it go to be natural and to keep my hair healthy. So let's, go from there anyway first things first is I am going to put a moisturizer whoops, moisturizer primer and then foundation so let's see here you can see all my stuff um, and moisturizer I'm actually gonna pull I use this, my Healthy Daily Defense, especially because my skin is so sensitive to being outside and the wind and the sun and all that stuff. Um, yes, I'm from Hawaii, but I'm still very sensitive. So let's prime this sucker. Okay, got my moisturizer on. Next, I am using, it's a CC cream from Juice Beauty, favorite one. My cousin actually works for the company and introduced me to this a while ago and I love it. Um, it's, it this CC cream is just like for everyday use. It's not a full coverage, but it is SP, it has an SPF in it. Um, it has a, a really good moisturizer in it and it acts as a really good primer so I put it under foundation when I do use the foundation. I forgot to grab my spongy sponge. So, <clears throat> and don't laugh at how I put on my makeup because this is just how I do it. Let's see here. Okay. So you can see I put a little bit on there and I just kind of dab it all over and then I work it in. Let's see here. And just put it all over my face. As a good moisturizer. And I already see a difference in my face texture, in the glossiness. I mean, it brings out uh, some of your natural elements and takes down the redness and the blotchiness, but works. So, let's do that. So the CC cream is one of my favorites. 
And the foundation I actually use, um, I'm not going to put it on just yet, I'm going to put it on last. But it's Photo Pigment, it's also Juice Beauty, um, Photo Pigments Flawless Serum. And it's very liquidy, so it's, it's, the only con to that is it's not like a creamy where you pump it out and it just stays. Like the first time I pumped it out, it squirted everywhere and was like all over my walls because it was so liquidy. But it's a serum, but it's a full coverage serum, so it's actually really nice. But uh, let's see here. I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyes next, guys. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I use so many different brands of makeup, it's not even funny. But, where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. So, I use my Angel Tip from MAC and my MAC Dark Brown, it's almost gone. But I tell you, this makeup has probably been in my life for about three years now, and it's only starting to show the bottom now, there's a lot left because I only use a little bit each day. And they don't always put makeup on, so let's do that. So basically all I'm doing is filling in the gaps. I'm not drawing new eyebrows or anything like that, people. Cause I don't, I don't look good in drowning eyebrows. Although some people look really good with the drawn eyebrows. I, I just don't, my face doesn't go with it. I just try to go with the, with the grain of my stuff. See, and so that's the finished eyebrow and that's the unfinished eyebrow and you can see the gaps that I have and then it filled in so that's the difference Just with the gaps lightly filled in, that's kind of, I know it's not even, but honestly, it doesn't matter to me if my eyebrows are completely even, because most eyebrows aren't, and if it's too symmetrical, it looks funny to me, um, and that's my excuse for not getting it even. <laughs> Good enough, people. Good enough. This is stay-at-home makeup, so it's not like I'm going anywhere fancy or anything like that. I am staying home today, and I'm concentrating on writing in my blog and giving content. So if you guys feel like it, check out my blog at MrsMommyMartin.com. Subscribe to the email list and um, then you can get updated on the content when I upload stuff. And, and some of the content is like I post about uh, budgeting, makeup, easy recipes, being a mom, being a wife, all this crazy stuff that women go through, just being a woman in general. It's hard these days.
just adding some color to my lids because I'm not going too crazy today. Um, so what I did was I just did the dark eyeshadow at the rent at the tip at the line of my eyelids and then I did a little bit of a pink above that um, which I just want to add a little bit more to then <clears throat> I take this MAC one, which is like a really light, 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 almost a white, um, but it's like a creamy white. It's not totally white. I know there's some stuff on it that I gotta take off from a black thing, but I'll take that off later. Um, but I just go that creamy color, right? I know my eyebrows like that. And on the inside here. And I don't know even know if you can see the difference, but it does lighten up the brow bone there. Okay. And that's pretty much my eyelids. Um, and, oh, I know what I was going to do. So what I normally do is I take a lighter color than dark brown. So I have Jane Ardell, who used to be my favorite, favorite, favorite um, BB cream until I found the Juice Beauty. So this is a Jane Ardell bronzer kit, and it has the dark bronze, the brown, the pink for blush, and a very light, 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 light pink, like a shimmery light pink. Um, for highlighting and you can tell which one I use the most but I use that darkest one for under my eyes instead of eyeliner just because eyeliner some like for nighttime I full-on put the eyeliner but for during the day if I'm home all day um, and I'm not really going anywhere I just kind of put that like color there um, and I'm just lightly brushing on under my eyes just to give it a little bit of depth I don't like it real dark under my eyes because I'm going to put uh, uh, mascara. And I use this same one to put just that, the lighter brown, the top there, boop, boop, the bronze, um, just to put that on my lids and on my cheeks. bronzer part <clears throat> and we're gonna do some eye mascara my favorite one is covergirl i've tried really expensive ones i've tried tarte i've tried all the other ones but i always come back to the orange covergirl it is my favorite it works best for my um what I do during the day and especially my face type because my face type is oily and whenever I use the other ones I always 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 get it running down under my eyes somehow and um, it gets kind of annoying and this one here stays on like and the only way it comes off is oil so I use baby oil 
to take this mascara off. Um, sometimes the, the makeup remover wipes work depending on how thick I have the mascara on. Um, I do not wear fake eyelashes. They would irritate me. Um, I can tell you right now, I would probably pull them off within minutes. I don't know about you, but I don't think I need fake eyelashes. See, these are my normal eyelashes, and I kind of, I'm okay with them like that. I think I'm good. See? Just add a little bit of mascara, people. Look at how different my eyes look. This is crazy. And just from mascara, it opens up those eyes. Makes you look pretty like a little girl. My son has really long eyelashes. Um, but so does my husband. To be honest, I hate putting mascara under my eyes. Absolutely hate it, but it's okay. It works. So that's my eyes. Now I just have to do my lips. Now, uh, before I do my lips, I'm gonna um, put some of the foundation to cover things like that. Yeah, my dog's scolding the cat for bugging him. Um, but like that and some other imperfections. Um, so again, I use the Juice Beauty Serum. It's a serum, people. Don't expect a thick, um, <laughs> don't expect a thick thing and I have to pump it out really slow because it's so liquidy it just kind of I'm gonna put it out a little bit on my cheeks here just to kind of blend it in before I get to those spots just to give a little bit of a See how it kind of um, covers up those freckles. So let's take it to my blemish. Now this is a full coverage um, if you layer it. So if you uh, let it dry and then layer it and continue to layer it, you'll just layer and layer and layer. So you can see that the spot got a little duller. Um, let's put a little bit more on there. It's even duller. Mm-hmm. And as you layer and layer and layer, it goes away. But I gotta tell you, I'm staying home today, so I don't care if um, you can see it a little bit. Lipstick. So I'm gonna be honest, I normally do put lip liner, but I'm not today. I am just putting lip gloss. Um, just because I'm home and I'm not going anywhere and I don't care um, to put lip liner. This 
This is a very light pink lip gloss just to kind of give, um, let me move the camera back a little, just to kind of give you an idea of my final look. I did not do my hair because I am staying home today. I'm probably going to throw it up in a bun while I'm doing stuff around the house. So I just wanted to look normal for the day and not tired and, um, you know, just in case. Plus, I'm, I'm doing some vlog work and some videos today. So I just wanted to show you how I get ready just to stay home. Yes, I get dressed to stay home because you act like how you're dressed. And if I'm dressed, I feel better about myself. I get more done because I feel more productive. So if you are a stay at home mom, <coughs> apologize I'm getting over this sickness um, if you are a stay-at-home mom and you're in your pajamas all day do me a favor get out of your pajamas get dressed it's okay if you're in sweats I actually have a red long sleeve and dark blue sweats on today um, and I'll show you because I still have sweats on it's not that I don't have Sweat, see? Sweatpants. So I'm still very comfortable about today, but I am dressed and not feeling tired. And, um, well, not gonna lie, I still feel tired, but I don't feel like dragging myself today, and it brings me out of my tired mode to, to do stuff because I feel good now and I'm, I'm I'm good I'm good I'm good and if you don't have time to do your hair I didn't do my hair today I just left it and if you if you have to do something throw it up in a bun put your face on even if it's just minor stuff you don't have to get full faced just some eye makeup do your eyebrows lip gloss boom done because I tell you what, you will feel so much better. I promise. So again, visit my blog, MrsMommyMartin.com. Hit subscribe because I'm coming out with a bunch of new videos um, coming up in November for holiday season. Um, I'm selling some products like this beautiful um, sign. I don't know if you can see it good. Like that beautiful sign at my website if you're interested and um i'll talk to you guys soon have a wonderful day how do you stop this oh there we go